The spread of fire within a building is a serious issue. A number of different hazards can exist in a structure. There may be different occupancies and uses in buildings that need to be separated from each other. The condition or number of occupants in a building can also have a significant impact on fire protection. The building may need to be divided into compartments to protect the people from a fire event. The IBC provides protection from fire spread in a building by requiring specific fire resistance rated separations between hazards that may be located in the building. It also protects people as they try to evacuate a building in a fire situation. In addition to protecting occupants from fire, the IBC also provides protection for firefighters entering a building during a fire event. The IBC requires fire resistant separations within buildings and protection of the structure with fire resistance rated protection. The separations differ in the level of protection and continuity. Fire resistance rated assemblies can be both vertical and horizontal. Openings in a fire resistant rated assembly can allow fire and smoke to spread from area to area. Therefore, doors and windows located in an assembly are required to be provided with a fire protection rating as well. Pipes, cables, and ducts penetrating the fire assemblies that are not sealed properly can also significantly affect the fire resistance rating of an assembly. So, these penetrations must be sealed with an approved material or systems that resist the fire and smoke from passing through these small gaps in the assembly.